Okay, we're going to take a look at solving some expressions using exponents here. Now the first one we could see we have 4 to the third times 4 to the second. Now basically what this is telling us to do is that we're going to be multiplying these two together. So 4 to the third is equivalent to 4 times 4 times 4. And then we're actually just going to multiply 4 squared along with this. So 4 squared is times 4 times 4. So as you can see, we actually have 4 to the fifth power. Basically, when you have something like this, you actually have 4 to the first power plus the second power. So as you can see, 3 plus 2 is equal to 4 to the fifth. And when we go ahead and solve that, we get an answer of 1,024. The next one shows us a division problem. It has 2 to the 5th over 2 to the 3rd. Now what this is, is we basically have at the top 2 being multiplied by itself 5 times, and on the bottom 3 times. And what we know about uh, fractions that are set up like this is we can actually cancel out what we have in both the numerator and the denominator. So as we can see here, we could cancel these three out. We're left with nothing in the denominator, and the numerator is only 2 times 2, which is 2 squared, or 4. And similar to the example above, we actually have a quick and easy way to go about looking at this, where we could actually just say 2 to the 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3. That's equal to 2 squared, which is what we just had, or 4. And the last one here is 3 squared to the third power. Now this one's a little different because we are just going to have to multiply it instead of adding or subtracting. So 3 to the 2 times 3, that's equal to 3 to the sixth power. And when we solve that out, we get a total of 729. These are some examples of different types of problems that you'll be working with using exponents and how you go about solving them.